think it's fair to say Tacoma is seizing the opportunity with some not so subliminal messaging. We want to make sure we got out in front of this and let people know, hey, we'd love to have you down here. And by the way, we don't have a head tax. That's Tom Pearson, who's smiling. He heads up the Tacoma Pierce County Chamber of Commerce and isn't a big fan of Seattle's new head tax on large businesses. What Seattle did is just really it's the last straw for a lot of businesses. And I think you'll hear more businesses that were thinking about going to Seattle that are not going to. And so I know it's going to continue. Pearson represents some city leaders and residents who are anxious to put more jobs in a community where most people head north to go to work. The livability factor matters, right? So they want to, their employees want to work at a place, work that's yeah. that's close to their home. For Don Markley, little freckle face, and her daughters. All right. It's been a little more than a decade on the hilltop. Um, we've been in Tacoma for 11 years. At this point, she says they're starting to feel the pinch. Because I don't know where we would go when we can't afford here. Where, where do we go? You know, Kent or Auburn, you know, they're, they're still starting to kind of pop up. But, I mean, we are getting pushed out of everywhere. Dawn is well aware of the homeless crisis in Tacoma, and affordability has been one of the driving causes. But she's not sure if big business in the South Sound is part of the solution. As I think getting some bigger businesses in would be great, but it's not going to employ them. For now, she hopes she and her family can hold on as Tacoma looks for any direction to grow. We do have a lot of apartment buildings starting to go in where there were none before and now they're starting to just kind of pop up but you still can't afford it. In Tacoma, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News.